and then uh, kind of letting up a little bit. And I gave, gave Hobart a lot of credit for getting back into the game and pulling within one. Uh, and this, I think in the second half, especially the fourth quarter, uh, we started to relax again, started to run the offense and shoot a little better. I thought the shots were there all night. And even though we had the goals we did in the first half, we didn't shoot as well as we could have. And then I thought defensively it was a, it was a good game for us because we, we came back and we had to fight and we had to hold them down. You know, our defense had to play tough and uh, going down the stretch for us to get the win. So it's a really good experience for us uh, in the game line. That's off to Hobart. I thought they played the whole way and, and uh, a good win for the Cubs today. Connor? Coach, you kind of qualify how badly you think your team needed this game in the last three weeks of the transpired? Well, it would have been a tough loss today. And uh, again, you know, our, I think our first two losses, I thought we had a good game plan. I thought we were prepared. Uh, we had leads and, and we weren't able to, uh, you know, to maintain the lead. And then last week, I thought that we just, you know, I mean, you know, we weren't very composed last week at all. Had a lot of turnovers, didn't play uh, up to what we were capable of. Uh, so again, I think it was a, a good to get the W today. And the way the game happened, we had to we had to work, we had to fight to get it. So uh, it was a good game for us. How much do those kind of losses snowball in terms of mentality? Uh, you know, again, I think the first two were overtime games, and I thought that we uh, you know, I thought we got off to good starts. And it was disappointing that we lost those games. Uh, last week, you know, that was a tough one. You know, we had uh, our you know, alumni in town and a great crowd for the game. And, uh, and, you know, really never was a game. You know, I think in the third quarter we came out and scored a couple goals and thought we could get back in. And, uh, we just didn't play for goals at all. John? Um, having a uh, cover of the cover of the one goal on the field and that big save, uh, slipped to the ground and looked to the sideline and kind of pumped up the sideline. Just how much of a boost was that for you uh, making that save? Uh, yeah, well, I think I let six in a row, to be honest, in. So uh, I think we really need that save. The defense is playing great all day, and um, uh, they kind of broke down there, and they needed me, and they were playing well for me all day, so I had to get a save for them. And I just wanted to keep the sideline energy up, you know, because you get kind of deflated there when a the team goes on a run like that. But um, I think that that save kind of got the energy back up, so I just wanted to make sure the team was rallying there so we could get some more goals. And get some you think you had to work from early game period? No, I was honestly surprised, like uh, how I wasn't nervous. I thought I would be, but um, I mean, I was composed. I'm, I'm, com I'm a confident goalie. I, I knew I could play. The coaches had confidence in me. Obviously, uh, giving me the start. My teammates uh, were all there for me, so I wasn't really nervous at all. I was ready to play. Connor, uh, Jordan has two weeks. You scored seven goals. You kind of think the team is lifeline on offense. Does anything kind of change for you? You kind of feel like maybe you're stepping into the scoring role that's kind of been laid out for you all this time? Um, not, I, mean, I don't think I'm really stepping into a, a role that's, that's not been there. I think uh, my teammates are starting to find me off ball. I'm starting to find myself in the beginning of the games where I get an early goal or two um, to get my confidence up and then um, I kind of settle in and, and uh, make sure that I take care of the ball and, and make um, the right plays and um, be a bit patient on offense. I've been fortunate enough to find uh, myself off ball and, get good shots rather than okay shots uh, maybe one on one on one. Uh, today I tested my defender a little bit. Um, it obviously worked out. Um, so we're going and uh, taking a lot of the, the attention. Uh, definitely you know, For you personally, how much does it help just kind of all you obviously you come up with the game last week and then to get a couple of early ones today. How much does that help you going forward just as a player the mentality for you the confidence? Yeah it definitely it definitely helped my confidence a lot I think. Uh, I've been taking advantage of my shots, um, and they've been falling for me, so it's going to allow me to continue to do that um, and uh, continue to try to spark the offense when it needs to keep going. In, the, in those second and third periods, did you feel like you were getting good looks? Yeah, I think we slowed down a little <laughs> bit after we got, uh, I don't know, we had like a four or five goal lead. Uh, we started to slow down a little bit, I think. Um, we were getting good looks. Um, some there were some awkward plays where it hit the top of their stick, or we had an open look in front of the goal. And we just happened to drop the ball, uh, but the looks were definitely there the whole time. I think we just uh, had to settle back down and make the right the right looks at the right times. So that's what we did the first game. Coach, how long did it look to your expectation for his start? In his first start? Yeah. Uh, Oh, Evan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think he, uh, 
you know, I, I watched him before the game in warm-ups. I thought he was, you know, fairly relaxed for his, you know, being out there for his first start. And they did well. I thought in that in that run that they had, uh, and shortly afterwards, he made a couple big saves. Uh, you know, and also they would have been goals, and uh, really helped, you know, kind of help fight, help us fight through it, and uh, help back to the defense.